A Snape Raider, Faith Hit, or whatever the letter stands for, I don't know, that's just an educated guess. It's a Charger class weapon, and recently it got finally buffed. It has real damage numbers now. So yeah, I'm gonna just remake this whole guide because I think it changes the way the weapon plays enough that what did not get changed is the paint that I'm already showing right here. It's like somewhere between Split Church and Bamboo, I'd say, I'd say in the paint, so... The ground paint, if, if the buffer zone does not get contested, then you can solo paint it somewhat. The charges can do it better, or worse, which would be bamboo. The same thing with the wall paint. If the tabs don't really paint it, and the charge somewhat does. There can be some gaps in there, you'll especially notice that when trying to paint fish sticks for people. What, I mean, what I would recommend for that is, like, if they're painting exactly from the top, then the bottom is not gonna get hit. Or a little bit under the top, so... There's another swamp stuff can search up. I'm there. And let's talk about ink efficiency as well. Deed already at the marking here, 30% per full charge. You can exactly throw a bomb after or before it. And then out of a full tank, of course, that means you get to do three full charges. I'm like not gonna show that right here. Then you'll have 10% left over to do some. How many tabs can we do roughly? Power 5, something like that. You have to, have to like paint your feet and swim and refill a bit and stuff. So that's actually kinda cool that that is possible as well. And something that you also may have seen here already is I don't actually use all my shots and get that ink immediately refunded. Not all of it, of course. I'll just for now. See the fifth thing for the fifth shot wasn't used and I got that back immediately. The rest I had to re as usual. Right, so that is how the weapon works. So the range, long range, the roughly split a shot split a scope range. The shot of course. The damage is just as before 60 for tap shots. I believe the tap shots are also use a bit less ink actually. Not sure how much that was before. Note. What's really interesting is the full charge. Went from 160, I believe it was, to 240. Well, that is actually a real number. Two shot the Kohox with that, you still one shot Shams. Because with massive overkill. So yeah, that, ha that hasn't changed, you still really do not want to deal with chumps as much for a match, especially charged. Everything that has high HP I get handled much better now. 500 HP bosses, you still need 3 shots, that hasn't changed, but some something new that changes now. You can do 2 shots and then, and then a tap, you happen to be up close. Then that will knock out that 500 HP bus. Grapper shield would still be 3 shots. Actually it was 4 shots before, now it's 3 shots, so that is an upgrade right there. And speaking of tap combos, there's a very obscure one that is well here. You can do one shot of a full charge and then a tap. Of course that's very rare that that would actually happen because you would need to be close. The tap is already out of range here. And this close on the ground then could do it. Yeah, that is very rare. One case where I could see it happen to come to play is they, this is here the platform on the top by basket on spawning grounds normal tide or high tide. Not from normal tide. You're standing here, you're and four shots to kill to things, and then right as that happens, that happens to be here by the side and attacking, and then you can like kill that with the rest of it. Yeah. They are very situational, but that is 
as a bad location. Another thing I'm, I might want to show you is the partial 200 here. Roughly that long. Uh, now I just failed it. Yeah, it's pretty much a quarter, but definitely not less than a quarter. I am not not actually suggesting you do that for champs, but where that is useful as snatchers. You see, as you are charging up the partial, you do also get increased range and exactly how you hit snatchers that are by somewhere. Definitely one of your main responsibilities weapon to snatch us. You know, you can do it a lot better than many other weapons due to its range. But in the worst case, with a fully charged shot, of course, which might overkill, but if you have it, you have it, and just good to have this extra basket rather than being completely stolen for obvious reasons. Anyway, back to. Image numbers and combos and stuff. Bristlers, they they are now instead of the exactly five shots that they needed before, the dot. Now four shots with some overkill. And you do not really get anything out of tips there, it's just for fully charged shots. Always. Then and then big shots and other 1200 HP targets, which would be mass and fluffers in case it matters. You do exactly kill them with a full charge here. The math is of course, of course easy, 240 times 10 divided by 2, exactly 1200. So yeah, whenever you see big shot cannon, you can make preparations to keep it in sight for the whole life and snipe every big shot before it attacks pretty much. That is really nice. What's not changed is the stinger matchup. It's the seven parts, so uh, the charges don't really do anything there. Anything different, I should say. Of, of course, if you're, you're like, if you're like far away and want to stay far away, then you just do a full charge and then another full charge for, for the other two parts. It's slow, but it works. And if you do have the ability to get in close, then done. The tabs deal exactly which the upper part, so that works. Your stick you preferably really do not want to deal with, but if, if you have to, just find the thing and climb up and kill the whole thing with tabs. And if someone someone else is like trying to kill it but failing to get like the last one or two or whatever, then just stay away and get them with the usual parts. And of course the biggest overkill in history, but you don't have to get there, so that saving that time. The numbers don't always align nicely enough to get the get good targets for other five shots anyway. Like if you see something that you can shoot then by all means shoot it, but if you don't then don't be afraid to that especially if you are like low on ink. You need to be refilling soon. You're closer to fill, then by all means just hit random things if it's not efficient. All right. All yeah, right. Another another thing I should mention about bosses, because lemon lids. Let's say this dude is a, is a lid now. What you can do is like be far away and aim right at the top without having to claim them. Do that with many long range weapon that's particular nice thing to do with a snap writer. That is one of the things it happens to be quite good at. But, but still, you don't need three shots exactly there. Just barely. <laughs> yeah, make sure that I'm not messing up your heart here. If you are missing a bit, then that's fine. You have up to two backup shots. Yeah, pay attention. Right, that I believe does cover all the bosses. With that, let's get to the night waves. Up, let's talk about gorillas. With the change damage numbers, gorilla interactions are also different now. You need two fully charged shots to stun it. 
then if for, for whatever reason you need to solo a gorilla at some point, two full charges will do it, it's then included. Does have 2200 HP, I believe. Quick. Good. Oh, yeah, right, 2200. I did remember that correctly. There, yeah, but however, well, while you're doing that, just always make sure that you never get attacked by small fries because small fries are really bad for you, obviously. Especially when you're trying to do things with full charges. When you don't, you can still like tap into them a bit, and that somewhat works, but it's not great for sure, and they just stay far away from them. I like always make sure that you you put a t you put at least one teammate between you and the gorilla. And of course, also try to make sure that they're not body blocking you and stuff. I mean, you cannot always prevent it when you when they're just being that stupid. Of course, yeah, it shouldn't be common. Hopefully. Right, right. Next thing, rush. This is a pretty of a rush weapon still. But nothing has changed. Curse of the charger. You you cannot pierce. Yeah, you, you have taps for for a rush, um ideally just for stragglers and not for actual filtering. Like, like you wanna focus X in the wife ideally X and Goldies. But the issue here with Goldies of course is since they do not have piercing is if especially if the filtering that the team provides is better then you really have a really hard time hitting the Goldies. That's definitely not something that can be relied on. The ring has to be good, and if it's not good, then you can definitely consider just spamming whatever's in front of you. Hopefully things will work out that way. Need to have a good read on what is actually happening there and get things out on the fly. Mud mouse, just, just use bombs, throw, throw eggs. If you really have to, you can like get cohox with the full charges and like okay. But ideally, there will be a better weapon for it in the comp. I look at look at the comps, and if there really isn't a better weapon, I think then that. But not then. Well, then don't use him in weapon ever. Tornado, sim similar thing. Don't use, don't really use your main weapon ever, except for exactly one thing. That is to open the second box. There's 1200 HP again, the magic number for the full charge. You yeah, are pretty much ideal for doing that and then also throwing a few, few eggs of that into the middle. See that? Then, then Mothership, like other long range weapon, you use your long range to snipe as many Chinooks as possible. Use your full charges and manage your ink correctly. Well, there's nothing in the sky for you to shoot. Me that also means make use of refense, like don't be hellbent on using your all your five shots. However, it's also fine to like use your fourth and fifth shots or whatever on some chumps as whatever, especially shit and snatchers at first, but you can hit lessers with them too if clearing and spots where they will well, that is still better than just wasting a full charge by... Look at the battlefield. Actually look at the sky. Nothing new there. That I believe... Covers a wave side. To have charge, I guess. Default to cannon if the team lets you. Same as with other weak or unflexible weapons. I wouldn't say this thing is too weak at this point. Flexibility. Not the greatest, and the quirks will just be too many to actually use your main weapon well. See. Cannon. Alright. That is everything about the fresh new snipe writer. This is actually a real weapon, and I'm. what they did with it. First, there is still this year. Reminds a bit of the curse of the old Tentabrella, which fortunately is also a thing of the past now. More on that 
sniper in the guide. It does not hurt the sniper attack quite as much. Hurt that. So I think we can handle that. Alright. We'll be that.